the pandemic, small businesses are closing their doors left and right. Small towns hurting the worst. Our Claire Kreitz went to Malvern today. Claire, things really have slowed down there since March. Yeah, that's right, Bob. At least three businesses have closed up shop in Malvern simply because they didn't have the customers. Many people are still scared to get out, and those remaining businesses don't know how much longer they can stay open. From the occasional car passing through to empty sidewalks. It just feels like the brakes have been hit and we're never going to go back. Malvern businesses are just trying to keep the kitchens running and the orders coming. Over at Malvern Mercantile, owner Stephanie Colley says before COVID, it was unusual to see an empty table. The whole place was full. People sat together that didn't come together because there was no seating. Big difference, huh? Look around. Now they've cut back hours, employees, and even the menu. For a while we were preparing, we were throwing away and wasting 300 a week. The only thing keeping their head above water? We already had the flower shop, so it's kind of giving us the backbone we need to stay open. Other business owners aren't as lucky. It's a scary, scary world right now, for sure. Tessa Conyers is in her 18th year running the Picket Fence Vintage Market. It's always been a great business, and it's I'm to the point that not sure what I'm going to do. Her shop is made up of vendors leasing space and selling their products. So it's not only me that it's affected, it's all my vendors. With the uncertainty, she picked up a second job to help pay the bills. Had an opportunity to sell used vehicles. and She's using the parking lot behind her store and it's helped keep her shop open. And I hope that, you know, that can keep me afloat until things pick up. Now she just wonders for how long. To close, you know, to know that I would have to close to go get a job because I can't financially support myself, it's going to be bad. You know, it's going to be a really, really sad day if that happens. The Malvern Mercantile did get a small business loan, which she said helped. Over at the picket fence, they did not. Bob? All right, Claire.